Week five, the walkover. Pittsburgh Steelers host the Baltimore Ravens here at Mercer Stadium. I'm looking at the Heinz Field sign as we speak. Still feels weird. Didn't get a coffee this morning. A little upset about that. Coffee shop was jam-packed, but it's 45 degrees outside and also sunny, which is the perfect day for a coffee. Perfect day for football. Perfect fall weather in general. Let's talk about the game. First off, 10.30 in the morning. A little disappointed at the crowd so far, but I expect that to be ramped up. My big question is, what is the reaction the first time the Pittsburgh Steelers offense enters the field? And what is the reaction the first time they go three and out? Both of which are going to happen at some point in this ballgame. Reports come out this morning that Matt Canada is on the hot seat. If a good performance doesn't happen for the Pittsburgh Steelers today, Look, it, at this point, we've heard the story a million times, but at the same time, anytime Ian Rappaport says something, you got to believe it a little bit. Thank you. Um, so you never know. It makes more sense if the Pittsburgh Steelers struggle and win. That's where I'm getting at. It. And that's what this walkover has me feeling all day long. I thought about it on the car ride. I thought, what's the big storyline? Everybody wants to know one thing. When are they getting rid of the offensive coordinator? Well, if you ask me, I think a win against the Baltimore Ravens, here's the sun that I'm talking about, a win against the Baltimore Ravens, where the defense does what they did against the Cleveland Browns, in a situation where it is clear as day that the offense has not matched any productivity that the defense can handle, and that your playoff chances are still very much so alive because you just beat the Baltimore Ravens. You're in first place in the AFC North. Things are exactly where you want them to be heading into the bye week outside of your offense can't do anything and now you got major questions if you lose you have a bunch of excuses oh well what are you going to change right now maybe there's no fix to this maybe at the end of the day the Pittsburgh Steelers just aren't as good as we all thought they were going to be coming into the season you win you're in a good spot you are I think I think this guy said that they're going to boo I think that's what I heard um so expect the boost if you win and you're in first place in the AFC North, you're in a great spot heading into the bye week, but it is so, so clear that you need something to change. I mean, there's only one answer, and that's to change. I don't know if I believe that Matt Cannon is ever gonna be on the hot seat. I think that I, from what this guy's saying, we, we're we gonna hear some boosts. So the fans are gonna make it known today. Mike Tomlin's gonna have to answer for it on Tuesday, win or lose. But I think those questions are a lot harder if you walk away with a victory here and the Pittsburgh Steelers defense looks like the defense that they looked like in week two and really in week three. I don't know if I anticipate a win, but I picked them to win on Friday. I'm going to hold strong to that. You shut down Lamar Jackson. You do everything you need to do. You got one giant question to answer. Eventually, you got to answer. I don't think a win today does any favors for Matt Canada and the rumors that he's on the odds.